Hello, it's ShadeX, and by the time I upload this video, Rocco's Modern Life Static Playing will be out on Netflix. The week after that, Invader Zim Enter the Florpus will be out. I'm hyped for both these movies. Static Kling looks great, and I love how the movie will have a transgender character in it. Enter the Florpus looks awesome. I can tell that a lot of the scenes in the trailer are lifted directly from the Invader Zim comics. I'm a big Zim fan, I've been watching a few episodes of the series before the movie. I am really looking forward to Enter the Florpus. But this video isn't about me gushing about the Nick films, instead in this video I will talk about the pros and cons of this choice that Nick made to put both films on Netflix. First I'm going to go over the pros. Netflix is a more convenient way for people to watch stuff. Nearly everyone has Netflix and tons of people have cut the cord, so it makes perfect sense for these movies to be there. Enter the Florpus and Static Kling are going to get a lot of streams compared to the movies possibly airing on Nick once and never again. The Jungle movie aired on Nick and I watched it, I really enjoyed it, but I'm pretty sure not everyone has the method to watch it. Most people have cut the cord, and I want to mention that my family has as well. I didn't watch Hey Arnold the Jungle movie through traditional cable or satellite. I watch it through DirecTV now, but the point still stands. I don't think that everyone had the means to watch it. Also, if you want to stream Hey Arnold the Jungle movie right now, you used to be able to watch it on the Nick website, but guess what? That site is gone now. Now the only way to watch the latest Nickelodeon episodes is through their app. That was a poor decision on Nick's part. They could have kept their site operating. But now it's pretty clear that Netflix is the way to go. It's the most ideal way to stream the Rocco and Zim movies. Another thing I want to note is that these films are targeted towards the older fans of the properties. They brought back Rocco's Modern Life and Invader Zim for a reason. They are shows with dedicated fan bases. The fans who watch these shows when they were younger are going to be the ones who care the most about these movies. Kids who regularly watch Nick might not even care about these movies since they haven't seen these shows. But to be fair, these shows have aired on Nick Rewind, but even then, they air late at night when kids are asleep. The reruns of these shows air on Teen Nick, so, so it's clear they're marketing to an older audience that grew up with these shows. Now the cons. Nick just dumped these movies on Netflix after hyping them up. Fans expected these films to air on the network. Even the crew working on these movies thought they'd air on Nick. This isn't the first time Nick has pulled something like this. The show Pinky Malinky was dumped on Netflix when it was supposed to air on Nick. This is a lazy practice. The crew who worked on Pinky Malinky were not aware of this. It's just kind of insulting. These people worked hard on a movie or a show with the initial promise that it will air on Nick only for it to be dumped on Netflix. I get that Netflix is more convenient and that a lot of people are happy these films are on Netflix, but the truth is Nick just decided to randomly do that. It's pretty clear the initial plan was to air these movies on Nick. Static Kling was supposed to air on Nick in 2018, but it never did. I'm glad Static Kling and Enter the Floorbrist aren't getting shelved and I like the convenience of it being on Netflix ad free. But I feel it's disrespectful to the crew who initially thought it'd air on Nick. I hope Nick airs stuff on their channel. I really hope Glitch Tex airs on Nick. That show deserves to be on Nick. Sure, it'd be great if it were on Netflix, but I don't want it to be dumped on there. I want it to air on Nick because um, the crew clearly worked hard on it. I don't know when that's coming out, but I really hope it doesn't get dumped on Netflix. Anyway, overall, I'm just glad these Nick movies are getting released at all. I'll definitely watch Static Kling and Enter the Florpus. The most ideal thing, in my opinion, for Nick to do was to air them on TV first and Netflix later. I'd even be fine if the movies aired on Nick after they were on Netflix. But I'm just happy Rocco and Zim fans will get to see their favorite shows again in the form of two movies. Now I bring the question to you, the audience. Are you disappointed that these movies won't air on Nick? Or are you happy that they are on Netflix? Leave your answers in the comments below. Anyway, this has been ShadeX, and thanks for watching.